hey y'all welcome back to my channel all right guys so I'm open all right you know I hope everybody all right I hope everybody I keep safe and just pick up on yourself new subscribers welcome to the family um thank you so much for joining really appreciate you guys um for this video what i'm gonna do for you today is i'm gonna make a diy ottoman slash storage and i just wanted to share with you so if you like this video guys please remember to hit that thumbs up button please hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload a video please comment down below i appreciate those comments and please subscribe to the channel guys please subscribe to the channel guys thank you so much all right so i'm just gonna turn the camera around and show you guys all that we're gonna use for our diy today Alrighty, thank you so much and please stay tuned, okay? Okay guys, so we are gonna use a bucket. So this is the bucket that we are going to use. It's an old bucket that I've had. Oh, guys so let me actually wear button them this is an old bucket that i've had for some time and i decided to make something beautiful out of it well at least me go try and then we have some sponge some wadding and we have this beautiful gray velvet material we also have these buttons because we're gonna do uh, a tufted ottoman i got these at um pinks downtown i also got the sponge and the wadding downtown i got this um from pablo's in halfway tree and you also gonna need uh, industrial staple gun so that's all the things that we're gonna use for this DIY guys please stick around and see how I do this alrighty thank you all right guys so listen you're also gonna need some glue I got this glue from the same place that I bought the sponge and the wadding. You're also gonna need a pair of scissors. Okay guys, so first thing we need to do, we need to get this handle off this bucket and then we need to pull out the sponge, place the bucket on it and then we're gonna cut out the size of the sponge that we will be using. So, we're gonna do that. And then we'll get right back to you, okay? Alrighty. Alright guys, so the angle is out. This is what we used. This is an exacto knife. And what I did was just peer out this part, use it to peer it out and just um, take out. By the time I took out one side, the other side come out easy. So, thank you, Jesus. All right, so let's see if we can, everything else can go as easy as getting out that bucket handle. Alright, alright guys, so we get to measurement. Right, so. so we're gonna cut. 
when we go straight. Like right there. Let us cut. Let's see if this looks like the size. Alright, alright, so guys, this is my issue. I want to use this for the we use the cover for the top because you know we want to sit on it and we want it strong and sturdy. So I'm trying to figure out how to I'm gonna leave this part out. So when I put on this, it will just sit on it. But I'm gonna make sure to carry the sponge, the wrapping come to here, and then I probably just use this other material to cover if anything leaves, but you'll see as I go. Okay guys, so for this part we're gonna use our glue gun. What we're gonna do is just add it to the bucket and then we're gonna just put our sponge, put it down and press. We're gonna do that all the way around. All right, so we have this excess, so we need to cut. Let's do this. Okay guys, so for this next step, what I'm doing is, I'm trying to get the, the bucket to be on one level. So because the top has some cut out, I had to do the top separate, so I'm just gluing a piece of sponge at the top to get everything to be on one level. To measure your tufted holes before you add you can do it before you add your wadding so you would measure the sponge and then you cut out the hole that you want to add your tuft and then you add the wadding then you cut out that again and then now you put your material over it and then you staple but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna make my tuft as I go. So I'm at the end 
and I wanted to show you what I did to close to join it together so what I did was cut the, the cloth the material down to size and then I give it a fold under fold it under and then in the the first staple that I did I join it to that one but I turn it the, the opposite way so instead of turning the staple this way I'm gonna turn the staple this way so it would make a crisscross I hope you understand me if that makes sense all right so I'm gonna put in this last one and then we'll see Under, fold it, fold it in, and then we're gonna speak. what it looks like so guys don't see look all me as sweet so it's not easy but it is doable you got my hands glue all kind of crazy stuff but we're getting there all right so for this bottom part if you want let me turn around the camera for this side I'm thinking that as me like neat and thing I'm gonna probably cut out a piece of cardboard and just glue it down all right look inside as you can see inside the staples are poking out and because I want to store things in here um, cushion cushion cover maybe an extra blanket or whatnot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, maybe an armor or something to to turn in the nail heads all right so soon come back all right guys so we have pushed down all of our nail heads and you can see it is now safe to the touch all right so we're gonna close up this side and basically what we're gonna do the same thing as we did the bottom we're just gonna fold it in and we're gonna staple it um, but because the staple is going from inside out it is fine because we have enough sponge to secure those so that's what we finna do now okay
the top. The final part of the bottom. Yeah. This part, let me get you down low so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take these buttons. Fingers crossed I have enough. I'm gonna take these buttons. There, I'm gonna use my glue to glue them in there. So, there we go. Fun part. It's time for the fun part. we're doing so let's finish this and come right back okay I think it is so pretty what you think wow hey y'all so it's the next day um, I had to go out and get some more of the gems and I also got me a piece of material to line the inside of the bucket. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use an old cardboard box, um, measure it just the way I measure the sponge and cut it out and then I'm gonna try to glue this to it and then that will line the bucket. I'm gonna do the same thing with the top and also inside of the bucket so that's what I'm doing now so let's finish this and see how everything looks okay This is the idea so I'm just gonna use my staple gun to staple this in the bucket okay for the bottom I just cut out this piece of cardboard I don't know if it fits but I'm gonna try to put it in and hopefully like it won't cut down a little more so I'm gonna cut it down a little more and then cover it with the same material here then if that is gonna be it for this part and then I'm gonna do the top um, basically the same way I'm just gonna trace the cotton with the wadding cover it staple it cover it with the material 
and then we're gonna do our tufting but I'll walk you through guys I really do hope you like this video and I hope you enjoyed it hope you were inspired um, we're gonna finish this and then when you see it again it will be all done I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and until next time walk good and stay blessed thank you guys for the for the cover you don't have to use the the cover for the the original cover for the bucket if you don't want to you can use cardboard and it would be much easier and you could probably just store things in it but you probably wouldn't be able to sit on it but it would still look nice but because I want to sit on my ottoman I am using the cover so I'm just gonna cover it now do my tuft add my buttons and then I'm all done okay y'all so for the inside of the top I just took a piece of the lining cut it out and just shape it and as I go around I staple I didn't cut out any circle or anything I just Put it down, fold it under in a circle and just staple as I go around. So I'm going to put on the, my gems now and we are done.